What's up guys, it's Tat, and one of the most common questions I am asked while streaming is about maps and what are the best maps to play on as the Legion, and how do you really play efficiently on those maps? So I've decided to compile a short list of very, very strong maps as Legion and uh, showcase them and discuss them. The first is Wrecker's Yard, and honestly, Wrecker's Yard is the Legion's best map due to its incredibly small size. If you bring even just a single add-on to like help you chain hits, whether that be Mischief List, Friendship Bracelet, uh, Never Sleep Pills, Mural Sketch, you know, any of those four, you can choose to only use Feral Frenzy the entire game. Like you literally don't even have to use a basic attack because of the map uh, being just so small. So if you're having a hard time dealing with loops and stuff, you can literally just choose to Frenzy, hit a bunch of people, and then get it down pretty much every single time. It's really that good. Uh, so with the right perks and build, the survivors just basically die, and there's just not a whole lot they can really do about it. So, by far Legion's best map. The next map is Coal Tower, and Coal Tower is another really small map, and it's pretty balanced, so you don't have to worry about loops just like Wrecker's Yard. Uh, but again, if you are having troubles, do use Frenzy. Now, one thing you want to do immediately when you spawn in is go ahead to the main building and break the two walls on the bottom floor. Because these are going to uh, make it so that you can actually chain hits to any survivors who want to hide behind the main building. So when you're running around in Feral Frenzy, uh, survivors know just how powerful the main building can be when the walls are up. And they will try to hide behind um, the, uh, the far end of it. That way you can't just run through and hit them. So break the walls. That way when they do try to do that and they try and delay your fifth hit, you can actually just down them and it doesn't even matter. So very, very small map. You don't even need like a super optimal build. Just break those two walls and you'll have a pretty easy time. Now the next map is Father Campbell's Chapel. Now it's a bit larger than the previous two maps. However, once the walls in the main building have been dealt with, as long as you control one side of the map, survivors will have a very hard time. It's a lot harder to chain hits on this map than the other ones. Uh, so, so you're going to want to focus more on a three gen and protecting hook survivors rather than running around and chaining hits. For instance, if survivors drag you all the way to the circus, you're not going to be able to run all the way back to shack side. It's just not possible. Even if you bring never sleep pills with sketch, you're not going to get it down. So play one half of the map and let survivors come to you. In the same way, Eerie of Crows is just like Chapel. You're going to want to control one side of the map. It's fairly easy to play on. However, you do need some game strategy. It's a larger sized map, so you're going to have to cut the map in half, play on one side, control one area, get a three gen going, and then it's very, very easy to play. If you are unable to secure a three gen for whatever reason, you're probably going to lose because survivors will continuously split up. Um, but just keep kicking gens, uh, keep pushing survivors away, and shoot through pallets every now and then. If a survivor drops a really solid pallet, uh, break it before using Frenzy, try and get another pallet out of the way, and then go ahead and use your ability, uh, run them down, then go chase someone else. Uh, you're just going to really want to control uh, as much of uh, one area as possible, and you don't want to get anyone inside of it. It's sort of like a hag where you're controlling a web of traps. Here you're controlling a web of gens and you're constantly in frenzy, jumping back and forth, pushing people away. So that's how you should best play Eerie. RP to East Wing is probably a surprising pick, but it has several choke points that can be easily held, funneling survivors into risky situations. Now you're gonna to wanna to protect a three gen on this map, and specifically on the library side of the map. Now the strategy that you wanna do here is hook a survivor on that central hook in the main hall. And once you do this, you basically have won the game because you're controlling the three gen next to the library. You're controlling the middle of the map because any survivor can't rescue. It's literally impossible. If they rescue the hooked survivor, you get two free chain hits. And then if anyone else comes nearby, it's just you just get another down. Go back to the main hall, hook them there and repeat the whole process. It is literally an unbeatable strategy. You just cannot lose it if you control the main hall and you control the library side of the map, it's literally impossible for the survivors to, to win. It's just, it's impossible. And so it's less about chaining together hits and more about building pressure and snowballing. And uh, yeah, it's pretty disgusting. Uh, so don't chain hits on this map. If you plan to go to East Wing, 
bring something like fuming mixtape filthy blade a stab wound study is quite nice as well susie's mixtape will help you find people don't chain hits just control the main part of the map and the library side now dead dog saloon i am putting here a little reluctantly but it is a very small map and it is generally killer sided however its main building is incredibly strong and any smart survivor will just hide upstairs near the generator and prevent the fifth feral frenzy hit to help you deal with the map's breakable walls and protecting three gen setups i highly recommend frank's mixtape which will chew through obstacles at breakneck pace land you hits when you would otherwise just go into your cooldown and cry miserably. All right, well, that's it. Those are Legion's best maps and how to play them. I hope that this video helped you and hope that you have better time playing Dead by Daylight. See ya.